So next up, we have uh, another text right below all that. And this is basically where you can choose to write about why you chose the track and what you hope to learn from the track. So it's a text element again. And once again, we can duplicate the previous text elements that we have. So control D. And I just move that down a bit. And I can go ahead to edit this. So I could write something like, um, I chose the design track because I enjoy solving. Like I said, don't worry about alignment and all that just yet, but I'm going to align my because I enjoy solving users' problems. Okay, so notice what's happening with the text. Notice the Instagram post. The Instagram post frame ends here. So because the text has passed the frame, you can no longer see what's inside the frame. And that's because of this setting right here, the clip content. So whatever is outside the frame, once clip content is selected, it won't be visible. It's just going to cut it right off. So in order to see the text that has um, gone out of the frame, I'm going to unselect the clip content checkbox and it shows up. So you select your text and you can either choose to change the width from here or simply click and drag your text like this. Um, yeah. So I'm just, I'm going to center align mine. This is where you can center align. This is to left align your text. This is to right align your text. And this is to center align. So I'm just going to center align that. Um, and reduce the text size a bit because from our copy, the text size is quite small here, the font size rather, I'm sorry. Okay. You can choose to add in more text um, when you're writing about why you chose the track. Okay, so once that is done, we move over to adding our picture. So to add the picture, once you select whatever element you want to add your picture into, I can, for this um, live class, we're adding the picture into the circular shape, the circular element. You can choose to add a picture into the rectangle or even into the frame. But to add a picture, you select the element that you want the picture to be in. And if you look about over by the right, you see where you have the fill setting. Click on the color. And right on the top of that uh, model, you see a uh, drop down. You click on that. And the very last option here is image. You click on image. And from here, you can choose whatever image you want to add into the elements that you've selected. I'm going to go over some other examples. So you get a good idea of how to add an image. So I'm just going to choose an image from here. Okay. Um, yeah. So once you select your image, it's just going to fill up whatever shape you have with that image. Also, if you do not want to add an image from your um, local files. Take, for example, how we copied and pasted this image in, into, into the design canvas. You can select whatever image that you want to fill and click Copy. OK, so once that image is copied, in order to fill your image correctly, you have to select the element you want to fill 
with that image. In this case, a uh, circular shape. And just do a control V and it fills the shape up with the image. So basically your uh, basic controls, your control C, your control V, your control D also helps during your design process. Just going to change that again. So I go to image, I choose image, um, and I select this one and it fills it up. So that's basically, we're not going to go into getting icons for your social media um, handles and all that during in this live class. We'll do that in subsequent classes. So um, that's basically it. If you want to add some color, you can go on and select the, you can change the background color to whatever color you would prefer. So let me change this one to say something here. So UI design basically is about practice. You need to practice to get better. You need to apply the right design elements and principles. You need to apply um, spacing, things like spacing, alignment, and hierarchy. So let's say I build this. Okay, so basically looking at this design, you can see that my name carries the highest weight. Um, it's the boldest and it's also the one with the largest font size. And right below that is the design track. And then you have the reason for my joining the design track. So um, you, you get to do this uh, yourselves. Like I said before, you can choose whatever design you want to use. If you feel comfortable doing something with um, this design, that's fine. But just make sure you choose something that um, you'd love. And don't worry about the design principles. Just, um, just do it. Just do it. And we'll go over corrections in subsequent classes. And you will get better with time. Um, so let me see. Do we have if so if you have any questions, uh, you can ask at this point of taking some questions. Okay. So let's take some questions. Hi, Charles. There's some um, questions in the uh, Zoom chats. Okay, let me get to it. How do you... Okay. Okay. Um, okay, let me go over duplicating text again, just so everyone can get it. I'm going to delete this once. And I'll go over that again. So first of all, what you do, you go to your menu bar and select the text tool. Once it's selected, it's, it will be highlighted with a blue background. You go onto your frame or whatever element you want to place the text on and just click, just to click and your text cursor will show up. And once that is done, you can type in whatever text you would like to type in, okay? Now, to duplicate this, you use the command, sorry, Control D command on your keyboard. So I'm just going to do a Control D. And once that is done, you can see that it notifies you that you've duplicated that particular element or text. Um, so once that, so once it's duplicated, you can simply move the text away. Usually when, um, when duplicating for the first time, when duplicating an element for the first time, you're only going to know, okay, let me do that so I'll show you. So I've duplicated this. You're only going to know 
from the layers tab that it has been duplicated. So Charles Dim, so the text um, element has been duplicated here because it's now double. If I delete one of them, it goes off from the layers um, panel as well. So once I duplicate that, I can then go on to drag. Subsequent duplication of um, an element will simply move it into place. So if I go on duplicating, this is what will be happening. If I move this away and I duplicate that, it keeps on following that pattern. So once I, okay. So once I duplicate that, um, I put in the track I'm on. I'll just change the font size. I think I used 28 the last time. Okay, I duplicate that again. I move and I type in why I joined this design track. All right. Um, okay, then I center a line. So once those are done, I can then start adding some hierarchy to my text. But for this class, do not worry about hierarchy. Um, I only just want to see your picture. I want to make sure that you put your picture on the design, your name, your track, and why you join the track. So just okay, I hope that's clear.